Hi, good morning. Seth here, September 12th. I'm standing on the land that has been uh, restored by Savory's team at the Africa Center for Holistic Management. Uh, you can see as I pan around that uh, this land is extremely healthy. It's completely covered in grass. There's no patchy areas. There's no capped land. Uh, there's no uh, space between the grass. It's, 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 what, it's what's called has good cover. Um, you can see that there's surface water there. There's year-round surface water in the, in the middle of the dry season. Um, there was no surface water here in the dry season before. The land was patchy when he got it. Um, it was turning to desert like the rest of Africa. There were 200 head of cattle on here, and, and uh, the conventional wisdom would have been that there were too many. In, in fact, um, he's running 500 head now. There's twi over twice as many as was here before, and the land is completely healthy and restored, as you can see. And uh, it's not a matter of numbers, it's a matter of management, hitting the ground in a way that's more indicative with the millions of uh, wildebeests and buffalo and elephants and zebras that would have naturally been trampling through here and keeping the land healthy. You can see the um, bunched cattle in the distance there. Um, that's how they are running the, the herds here in, in, in packs according to a plan. They know where they're going to go and when and they're constantly monitoring the ground cover and the, and the cattle impact. But, uh, but the point is that this is restored land. Uh, this land used to be degraded like much of Zimbabwe and much of Africa and much of the world. It's now restored, so it's sequestering uh, carbon and it's re retaining water and, uh, and it's providing a sustainable livelihood for people who depend on the land. So this is a good news story. We need more of them.